You know about this God. I know about this God. Protestant church music runs the gamut from hip hop to contemporary. Taking a page out of the top 10 charts on iTunes, churches across America are now integrating different genres of music into their regular church services. Alright, why don't we try it from the beginning again, please, one more time. But Good News Baptist Church is finding traditional hymns are all the community needs. Joy, 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 when you face trials and tests. Our type of church is probably rare in our community. Temptations and trials come and you see. Oh, you won't see entertainment. That, that's not our goal in the least bit. It's not a means of displaying our talent, but rather of us expressing ourselves to God and what He means to us. The first day at Good News, we uh, came in and the first thing that happened was music. And the music at Good News brought tears to my eyes because it brought it back to home like we grew up. And it's never old, it's never boring. And we just love Good News and music. Having grown up in this area, it was one of those things and one of those places that you can't have grown up in this area and not have experienced the shrine and the chapel, what it was affectionately known as all those years as the chapel. This is the only approved Marian apparition uh, in the United States. I think through the summer we've had 500 or more people coming every day, and uh, whereas you know, prior to that it may have been 30 to 50 or, or something like that. So, so the numbers have increased significantly. I think that's been kind of a surprise to everybody how much interest there is in it. We will see ever-increasing numbers and we're beginning to think and uh, uh, to try to figure out what would be the best way to approach that. Where are you going? Where are you guys going? What are you going to do there? Well, a Legoland Park is a park that's geared to families specifically with children aged 2 to 12. We don't try and be all things to all people. All the rides that we have are all geared to that demographic and in keeping with the Lego brand. It's very interactive, very worthy uh, and all about family fun. We have uh, 10 theme zones in Legoland Florida here and uh, the site comprises a site of around 150 acres. In each zone, there is a, a theme. Exit out of your vehicle very carefully. Typically linked to a Lego branded section. So you have a castle area which is called Kingdoms, and we have a dragon roller coaster in there. We have Lego City, which is all where you have all the Lego cars, you have the driving school, you have the boating school, you have the flying school. Hi, I'm Shailene Woodley, and I'm in the film The Descendants. The first movie I ever remember seeing George in was Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? I'm sure I saw him in Spy Kids, because he was in Spy Kids. But yeah, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? And I, I, it's still one of my favorite movies that he's ever done. I just think it's brilliant and hilarious. And, <laughs> and after knowing George, that movie is even better. <laughs> the Descendants deals with a lot of different themes about life, death, family, and I think everyone can relate to it whether you're my age or you're older because every family is dysfunctional in its own little quirky way and I think everyone can kind of pick from the movie and, and choose what hits home. Hi, I'm Mayim Bialik and I play Amy Farrah Fowler on The Big Bang Theory. And I'm Melissa Rausch and I play Bernadette on The Big Bang Theory. And we are going to talk to you about The, the Big, Big Bang, Bang Theory. Theory. We didn't even practice that. No, we're perfect. Whenever you do a pilot of a show, you never know what kind of success it's going to have. Um, I myself have done some that have, have not gone anywhere. So I was a fan of Big Bang before 
I joined the cast and to come on to a show that um, you already know is, is a success is it's very exciting and um, you kind of feel like you won the lottery. The, the metaphor I use is a little bit like starting your senior year of high school three weeks into the semester <laughs> when everyone's picked out their lockers and they have their places they like to hang out and then you come in you know so it's also a lot of adjustment because it's a, a finely oiled machine you know the show knows how to work um, they didn't need us to get here mm -hmm. but hopefully we add something good and so um, so it's worth that awkwardness at first. Hi, this is Rachel Ray. <laughs> That's Guy Fieri. <laughs> and we're Rachel versus Guy. It's not celebrity as crispy as you would think. If we were an animal, okay, Rachel sorry, sorry. would be <laughs> a close, close. hyena, um, jackal. So <laughs> perfect. If I could, if I could eat or Hulk, cook, if Hulk I could way. cook with yeah. anybody, dead or alive, very simple. My two grandfathers. I want to eat dinner with my grandpa, and I want to see my girl Boo again. I'd love to be able to feed Boo from the table. What dish would I make? I, I, it's funny, because two of my favorite dishes um, that came from my grandfather's, one would be pasta, you know, a nice, really nice tomato sauce, just a really fresh tomato, you know, that time you just, and a really perfectly cooked pasta. And then my my grandfather, my, my uh, Gramps, as he was called, he's from the South, um, and he would make uh, this crazy fried chicken and he'd shake it in a big paper bag mm. with Italian seasoning and he would soak it in red wine vinegar mm. and he would in and that, and that, that, that chicken and my parents, my dad and me when I was a kid, I'm like, where did this come from? <laughs> Are we Any, for pasta? Anything right? with salty fish, uh, really, no fatty crab, but there's salty fish salty there fish. too. Um, my grandpa loved um, salty fish, so anything that mm, had salty little fish. Little bacala. In it. Who cares, I've got my grandpa there, I don't care. We eat rock soup, who cares? I dog, Boo, <laughs> just like my little girl is a Boo now. Boo is no longer with me, rest her soul. Um, but they both love butternut squash, so we would have to have butternut squash for the dog. My wife feeds her dog cowboy roasted chicken. Mm -hmm. My mom, she saves and rescues cats, and one of the cats, you know, is a wild cat, so it was used to, like, hunting for dinner. It will only eat dark meat rotisserie chicken, and it has to stab it with its toenail and eat it off of the third <laughs> now it's getting weird. You trying to run away from something bad, and uh, you come, you are putting something from the frying pan to the fire. I used to live in a park, I used to live in a, like, under a bridge, it's this kind of place, which is it's like a rough life, to be honest, it was very rough. When I came, they applied the salem. And then my application, they refuse, and they move me to bless, to bless, and you know, more depressed, more cry, and then just 12 years. When I sit alone, they think my children, they think my family. They think when I miss my family, all of them, that's why I come to sit. students' habits on Facebook range from the innocent to the embarrassing. What once was a wild Friday night, now is the highlight for all to see and comment on for today's news on social media. From Facebook news feeds to Twitter trends, students who post sloppy and salacious scenes from their Saturday nights 
might want to think twice before doing so. A study published by Pediatrics and Adolescent Medicine shows that college students who post regularly on Facebook of their drunken debauchery can inhibit and predict a life of alcoholism. Those who reference alcohol in their photos or scenes of being drunk in posts were much more likely to score higher on the Alcohol Use Disorders ID test. But at AU, students are quick to judge the results. Okay, quiet. AU Immersion is just student run. People come together and like choreograph and then like adapt other people's choreography. And it's like, a, it's a really interesting like thing to see. We, we have actually um, a lot of different styles. Um, well, for instance, like this semester, I'm in a ballet piece. Irish, which I've never done before. And Bollywood, again, never done before. But then we have like jazz, modern. It's, it's great because we get to try things like Irish, which I've never even thought about doing before, and then all of a sudden I'm dancing Irish. So it's, it's great if like, you want to try different styles. We try and get across that, I mean, like everyone can dance in like, Unlike other like student-run groups, like dance groups, we have like so many different styles that even if you can only like do one, like you can do that one, and like we usually have that, and it's it's great because you just like learn so many different things, and it's just like a big teamwork collaboration. It's, it's great.